light? Where's light? Where's light? There it is. Alright, so we are walking to get Trevor an ice cream. He's got a sweet tooth. Once in a while. No. Every night. What? He goes and gets a Coke or an ice cream. Or an ice. I haven't gotten Cokes in a while. Or an ice. You sure you don't want one? I'm sure. <laughs> What'd you get? None of your business. What'd you get? Oh, that's so mean. How's your ice cream? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the one in your hand. <laughs> All right, so I want to start organizing everything that needs to be wrapped and just like get it ready and get it all together so that when I have my wrapping day that I'm so excited about um everything's just like in one spot and I don't miss anything all right now I am on the hunt for our white elephant gifts Spartacus's other Christmas sweater. We go put him in that one tonight. Cause he's currently running around naked. Ooh, candle. Ooh, no, we're keeping this one. Luckily, since I started blogging, I've been able to partner with a lot of very, very generous really great brands who have given me like a generous amount of product so I can definitely do a little like beauty bag situation. So I'm gonna rifle through my little beauty bag full of products that I'm not using and kind of see you know what someone else may want through there. I don't know about you guys but I think Glossier and a Bosha cleanser is a pretty good white elephant gift. But honestly, like, let's talk white elephant gifts, you guys. I don't know about you guys, but I play so many freaking white elephant games over the holiday season. It's, like, crazy. And sometimes it gets really hard to think of, like, a decent white elephant gift. Some of the things that I know that are always hits are, like, bottles of alcohol, like, wine or liquor. It just kind of depends on, like, what kind of vibe your group is obviously if it's a very conservative family or something like that that's not gonna work but i know at my work the bottles of alcohol always get stolen because we play white elephant every year and everyone always really wants those other ones that are also a hit are blankets obviously candles movie tickets are always good but that one just kind of depends on if you have a rule in your white elephant game if you're gonna allow gift cards um my family has stopped allowing gift cards which i hate because i always love winning a good gift card but on our christmas eve party gift cards are allowed so that's the one where i really keep an eye out for it one year we got one of those like utility survival flashlight kits and for some reason that one got stolen the most and we were just like so shocked we did not think that anyone was gonna want that when year i brought an echo anything technology i feel like is a good one too whether it's like a bluetooth speaker or one year i brought those lenses that you can put on your cell phone it'll turn the camera lens on your phone into like a fisheye type of perspective and stuff and again that was another one that really surprised us because it was such a huge hit so technology is always a good one like this year, one of the things that we're gonna bring is a pop-up lantern. This is definitely great in an emergency. So just things like that, that everyone can always use, but don't necessarily wanna buy for themselves. I feel like those tend to be great as well. Okay guys, so when I was looking for the white elephant gifts, I came across some of Spartacus's stuff. This is what we call his winter wardrobe. You guys have already seen two of the pieces in the first few episodes of Vlogmas, but um, I wanted to show you guys like all of his winter slash holiday outfits. But right now he is naked. Trevor took off his sweater because it was getting stinky. So I fully feel the need to go out and shop for more Christmas sweaters for him. But for right now, this is his little collection. First off, he has his reindeer PJs. You guys saw this on Vlogmas Day 1. These are my favorite PJs to put him in. They say happy holidays on the back. And then they have the little legs and... I love this one but I think it makes him really uncomfortable I think the legs really make him uncomfortable and it's like too big on his body so it slides back on him so um we don't keep him in it for that long but he's just like so cute when he wears it 
I can't help it. Next is his ugly grandpa sweater. I can't even remember where or when we got this. Honestly, just like we got it or received it at some point, then we forgot about it, then we randomly found it in the house like a year or two ago, but like I love this one. Like the pattern on it is so grandpa. It's so cute on him. I think that this is definitely his warmest one. It fits him the best. And yeah, this is the one that he's been wearing the last few days. When we've been taking him to Christmas, we usually bring him in this one, but he hasn't been going to a lot of Christmases right now because a lot of my nieces are really, really little and it's also getting more and more crowded there as the families are growing. So it's like harder and harder to bring the dogs. And then plus when my parents move to their new place, they don't want the dogs there. So the dogs aren't allowed. And when I say the dogs, I'm talking about my sister's dogs as well. She has three dogs, two of them are big, and he and them just like love playing with each other. Speaking of his cousins slash my sister's dogs, this is his other set of PJs. They are just like red and white striped, very festive, with a little like long johns flap on the butt. This is so cute. So they all have this matching PJ set. We got them all these for like some Christmas photo that we took or for like some year when my family did like Christmas PJs theme Christmas and we were allowed to bring the dogs. We got all the dogs matching PJs so that they'd be like this really, really adorable troop of like dogs and matching long johns. It was so cute. And you guys, I bit the side of my tongue and it's like really killing me to talk, which is why this vlogmas wasn't like that interesting. I'm just like having a hard time talking, but we will get through this. So then this one was actually his first Christmas sweater. I think I got this at Target like a few years ago, but it's like fleece. It's got the little green bone on it and then it's got a little like fluffy neck, very Santa reminiscent. This one fits him super, super snug. We have a family photo of when we took him to... Fashion Island to go see the tree and he was wearing this and it was so cute. This is definitely his warmest one. Like if we take him out to Fashion Island because it's pretty close to the ocean and gets a good breeze. Um, this one is nice and dense. It doesn't let any of the cold in because he does have thinner hair on his chest and on his stomach. Um, he gets cold really easily when there's wind. So this one's perfect for him because it just like, like I said, it's really dense and it doesn't let any of that wind through and it's just super, super warm for him. And then last in his winter wardrobe, is his rain attire. He has this little Sherpa lined jacket that we put on him when it's raining. It doesn't have a hood. We want to get him one with a hood eventually, but he is a diva. He absolutely hates the rain. So we put something like this on him and it kind of helps to get him out the door. But Trevor's mom actually got this for him and it's just like the cutest little like Sherpa lined puffer vest for a dog. It's adorable and I love putting this one on him. But honestly, you guys saw in the first Vlogmas, putting clothes on him takes forever, but it's like so worth it because he's so cute when he wears it. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> but anyways, that's gonna be it for this Vlogmas. Sorry that it was kind of short, probably not super, super interesting. Like I said, I did bite the side of my tongue. It's really hurting to talk. So hopefully tomorrow will be better. Don't forget to enter in my giveaway for the $50 Visa gift card. All of the rules and different ways to enter are linked down below. And today you guys are getting a bonus entry. Comment on this photo over here on my Instagram and comment a holiday favorite you'd like me to share with you guys. It can be things like my favorite holiday song or my Starbucks holiday order. Just kind of get creative. Don't do movie though because I've already gotten like four or five requests for my favorite holiday movie. Give me something different. Give me something creative. Comment it on that photo. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's Vlogmas. Bye.